Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? So in today's video we're going to take a look at all the rewards available in Season 9, which is due to start on the 14th of June. So, without too much further ado, let's crack on, shall we? Okay, so yeah, new season starts on the 14th of June, along with the Test Your Metal update, which is looking fun. Looking forward to jumping into that one. There's some interesting stuff in here. It's, um, as per usual, a bit of a mixed bag, but there's some cool stuff that I'm looking forward to getting. So let's have a little look at this thing. Okay, so season nine rewards. As per usual, this is on the uh, Bethesda site, so I'll drop a link down below if you want to check them out for yourselves. But starting at rank two as per usual we have the dead island skull player icon can you survive dead island i actually quite like this icon it's quite cool i like the whole theme of this season actually the whole uh, dead, dread island rather tale is pretty cool i like the whole um, sort of kids adventure story vibe it's really really something a bit different and i like it a lot so uh, scrap kits vault tech supply crates at rank four and we have carpet at rank five which looks kind of moldy which i think is the general idea is it mold or molded <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, fair enough. If you want in kind of a, a dirty, beaten up camp, that could definitely work with that. I could potentially see myself getting use out of that. We have a skull flare at rank six, which is quite cool. I like the look of this one. That's quite a nice little uh, flare. Bit different, takes a different tone. If you're going for a raider build and you would like to have a, a backpack flare, that will probably fit in quite well as well. Lunchbox is at seven, and the first camp object, a, well, second camp object actually. Rank 8, we have an industrial floodlight. So this is a wall light with a kind of industrial vibe. I could see that going in a few places, outside and inside, to be fair. Sort of crafting rooms, places like that. But also outside to kind of illuminate a bit more of a, a rustic technical kind of camp. Or if you just want it to look like you've kind of ripped it off the wall somewhere and taken it back to your camp, it'll work there as well. That's quite cool. Definitely like that. Legendary modules at rank 9. Definitely glad to see those making a return. They're obviously the... Of the two legendary components you need for legendary crafting, the modules are the hardest one to come by, so good to see those on the scoreboard. And some atoms at rank 10. Rank 11, 500 caps, and we have an ultrasite backpack flare, which looks like a miniature lump of ultrasite. Um, if you actually look in your inventory at what you pick up when you gain ultrasite ore, it looks like this. And uh, only bigger, of course. So that's quite cool. Obviously, you put it on display in camps as well, I've done, which is... Uh, an option, but that is one for your backpack, which is quite nice. And we get the first armor paint at rank 13, the Raiderish leather armor paint. So it's kind of got a bit of a gold tint to it, brown and gold and rust and that sort of thing is the general vibe, which is quite cool. Definitely like this one. It looks cool on um, some of the sort of less expected armors in some way. It really changes up the style of them, which is quite cool. But there's the first one on the leather there. Rank 14, we have a medieval suit of armor. So if you want to stand a suit of armor up in your camp, which is absolutely my bag i'm definitely down for that that is very very cool um i'm assuming it'll be full size it's a little hard to tell from the picture of course but uh yeah definitely down for that that's uh, an odd choice I don't know if it really works with the season theme but uh, nonetheless i'm quite happy to have it in my camp it's a fun thing perk car pack at rank 15 more fireworks at 16 repair kits at 17 legendary cores at 18 yeah they're always welcome but they're easy to come by so modules are probably more valuable but we have some legendary modules at rank 19 as well, and more atoms at rank 20. Always welcome. So, uh, 21 to 30, rank 21, we have a thousand caps. Slightly more useful, but uh, eh, it's caps. The bone shelf at rank 22, so a new shelving option. That would look pretty cool in cultist or uh, raider themed camps. That's quite cool. Kind of a rustic vibe to the look of it from uh, a glance at this. So yeah, definitely down for that. That's quite nice. Perfect shelf to terrify your guests while staying organised. I wonder if it acts as a display item or if it's just something like the rest of the shelves in game that you can manually put things on. It does look like, even if it is a manual placement job, that it'll be easier to get stuff on the two layers because they don't appear to be one over the other. They look like they're stepped, so that will be quite cool. So next Raiderish paint is at rank 23. This is the metal one. Uh, it's starting to look a bit cooler, a bit more Raidery there, really. Definitely liking the vibe, the sort of gold colouring on it's quite cool, and the uh, logo as well. Down for that. We have another player icon at rank 24. This is a campfire one. There's a whole bundle of these in this um, season, and I'm a bit iffy about that. There's perhaps a few too many, in my opinion. But uh, they're quite interestingly styled, and they keep the vibe of the current season quite well. And there's actually some cool ideas on there, actually. But um, still, player icons, not that exciting. Rank 25, however, we have the Mechanical Derby game. And they're off. Jockey for a win in the Mechanical Derby game. So it's um, another sort of 
game that you can place in your camp, like the uh, shooting things and um, the foosball tables and everything else that they've been adding recently. So if you want to set up kind of arcade type vibe to your camp, there's another thing you can add into that collection as well, which is quite cool. At rank 26, we have perk card packs. And 27, we have nuclear key cards. Five more. Never going to run out of those, I don't think. And rank 28, we have the first set of power armor, which is the Mercenary Company, Mercenary Company, even, T-51 power armor paint. So this is okay. It's sort of plain matte black with a few stickers from the Hellcats on it. It's, um, it's all right. There is a big point I've noticed here, though. Rank 28, this is our first set of power armor, or our first power armor skin. There's no T-45 on this list for some reason. I don't know if they've just missed it off, or some weirdness like that is occurring. Or, but uh, it might be deliberate, but yeah, T45 is not here. I mean, I don't know anybody who uses T45 past about level 20 or so, but nonetheless, you would expect it to be here and it isn't, which is odd. So at rank 29, we have 100 script, always good, and 150 atoms at rank 30. Gold bullion making its first appearance at rank 31, there's 100 of that, always good. Mercenary Company Pip-Boy Paint. Ooh, new Pip-Boy skin. Down for that. That's actually quite nice. A little bit of the flame effect around it. The colour scheme works quite well. Go with quite a few different outfits if you want Pip-Boy to blend into the larger look as well. I could see that being good with a few different vibes. A little logo there for the Hellcats as well. You want to mix things up. But yeah, that's not bad. Rank 32. 33, we have the next Raiderish Paint, which is the Robot Armour. This is one we saw in yesterday's videos, which you should totally check out if you haven't already. It's got a load more information on the season and the community calendar as well. There's a whole bunch of events happening over the summer. So link that one as well if you want to check it out. But there is the sort of gold tints to the Robot Paint, which is definitely very Raider in its vibe. I think this is the heavier version of it, which is quite cool. So we have another player icon, Spider Attack. Uh, I'm going to give that a pass. <laughs> And rank 35, we have another perk card pack, and we have the Throne of Bone. Um, okay, <laughs> which is quite cool. Definitely a Mothman cultist vibe there. The Mothman Equinox event will be popping back up over the summer as well, so it's kind of cool for that. It's a different vibed version of that. That's very rustic. I like it. I can see that going in some uh, more rustic type of uh, Wasteland Warlord type camps or uh, Mothman cultist camps. It's quite nice. Some lunch boxes at 37. At uh, 38, we have the Excavator Mercenary Company Power Armor Paint, which, again, kind of loses off a lot of the icons there, because it's already weirdly textured anyway, but, uh, okay, that's kind of a, a matte black style, kind of dusty style for your uh, Excavator Paint, if you like, which could kind of work. More modules at 39, and more atoms at 40. 41 through 50, there's some cool stuff here, actually. 1,000 caps, again, always nice to have, but not particularly exciting. The Patrioteer Hat is our first item of clothing, that's at rank 42, and it's kind of um, leading into the arrival of the pit, which will of course be uh, in September, but yeah, kind of got it, a union vibed kind of, almost a bowler hat, but not, I don't know what kind of hat that really is. It's an interesting sign, it certainly looks beaten up, I can see some people rocking that, uh, I don't think it's for me, but I can see some people rocking that. And we have the Raiderish Marine Armour paint as well, for those who want to uh, stick some gold on their Marine Armour. So we have the Heart Player icon for a Sultron Bodyguard for the theme of the season here at 44. And at 45, another perk card pack. 46, we get our weapon skin starting to arrive. So this is the Raider Super Sledge paint, which again keeps the vibe of um, a lot of the other Raider stuff. Got the icon on there and some sort of red and gold going on. Not a big fan of... Um, Super Sledge paints in general, the Super Sledge doesn't show off paints particularly well, I don't think, so that's a bit of a pity, but uh, it is there if you're into swinging sledgehammers at people. 47, we have more legendary modules, and at 48, we have the coolest looking power armour in the game, T60 Mercenary Company Power Armour Paint. Not so much the paint, but definitely the power armour is cool. Um, actually, I think this looks alright. I actually quite like the look of that, but... Um, Business-like, I think, would be a good word. I do like the, uh, the look on that. It's a good picture that they've used for it as well. So, definitely uh, a bit cooler there. 49, we have some more atoms. Another 150. And at rank 50, we get our first major, major, major camp item, which is the Chuck Wagon Cooking Station. Yet another cooking station. This one's quite cool. And somebody did say that the um, Nuka Cola thing here on the front might be a way to access your stash, which would be an interesting idea and quite cool if it is. In either case, it's still quite cool. I like the design, I think it's cool. As I said in yesterday's video though, of course, we need 
skins and different designs and stuff for other workbenches other than cooking stations because we've got about a bajillion cooking stations and nowhere near enough of the others so come on Bethesda give us something a bit more interesting so rank 51 getting into the second half now we have another 150 atoms there so quite a few bunched around the middle here yeah 49 and 51 uh, more caps at 52 and the combat armor paint the gold raiderish combat armor paint not really sold on this particular one myself it's a bit too gold for me but to each their own if you want to go down that road the rest of the patrioteer outfit is here at rank 54 the one that goes with the hat we saw just before so that's that's quite a cool outfit actually we've got a uh, kind of waistcoat going on there bit of a uh, uh, what do you call that thing bandana around the neck i suppose I like the kind of studded shoulders. It harks a little bit back to um, the studded sort of leather texture, which is quite cool. Looks good. Some bolts sticking out of it. And um, you can't see it in this picture, but down the bottom, I believe the character is wearing a pair of jeans that are quite beaten up and repaired as well, and it works with the rest of this outfit. So it's definitely a kind of frontier-like, beaten up sort of outfit that certainly works in the post-apocalyptic setting. So that's quite cool as well. More perk cards at 55. More legendary cores at 56. More launch bosses at 57, and we get to the X01 Power Armor Paint, the Mercenary Company one, at rank 58. And yeah, again, the kind of layout of the X01 suit doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, suit these that well, but it kind of works. Got room for the two stickers on there. Rank 59, we get some legendary modules, five this time, so definitely worth having. I think more modules and slightly less cores would be a better balance, given, as I say, those are the hardest ones to get your hands on, or at least at a certain rate of speed so um, it swings and roundabouts but it's good to see more of these coming in more atoms at rank 60 so a good little dump of atoms in the middle of the scoreboard there and 100 gold bullion at 61 i think this is only the second set of gold bullion we've had so there's not a lot of bullion on this one on the other hand i think a lot of people have probably got most of the things they want not everybody of course but a lot of people will have that so it swings and roundabouts i think not too bad that they're dipping out on that bit We've got another flare here. More flares than usual on this particular scoreboard. We've got a gold-tipped grenade, if you're into that. Um, I kind of like the grenade thing. I'm not convinced about the gold thing. But, uh, yeah, if you want a golden grenade on your backpack, there you go. And rank 63, we get the Raider's Secret Service armor paint. And this is where it gets most interesting, in my opinion, this particular power uh, armor paint, rather. In that uh, it really changes the material look of the Secret Service armor. Obviously, it looks very, very kind of plastic and high-tech and stuff and kind of in contrast to a lot of the other armor sets in the game sort of it, it sticks out in a bit of an odd way in my opinion that particular secret service set when you stick this paint on it as you can just about see here and if you want to see a bigger picture of it do check out yesterday's video as well as i say i'll link it but it's kind of rusty on there and uh, really changes the detail and makes it look like it's made out of metal rather than whatever it normally looks like it's made out of and I think that's a pretty cool change. I think it bring, brings it a bit more into the Wasteland vibe, which is cool. So we have a Crash Plane player icon here, which I really like as a picture, but not so much as a player icon. So um, something I'm kind of tempted to have a crack at doing, actually recreating something similar to this as a, uh, um, a camp build, maybe. It's definitely quite a cool idea. Hmm, we'll have to see. But, it, yeah, I like it. I'm liking the look of this quite a bit. Definitely cool. But uh, there we go, that's rank 64. 65, we have uh, perk card packs. And 66, we have our next uh, weapon skin, which, um, as I mentioned yesterday, is a bit odd for a double-barreled shotgun skin, but I think it's the first skin we've had for the double barrel, so that's nice. It's kind of got that uh, Silver Shroud stroke high-tech vibe going on, which is really odd on a double-barrel shotgun. But nonetheless, it's quite cool. It mixes things up, it changes. It's got a little bit of a, a different um, colour to the... Uh, muzzle attachment there as well which is cool a little hint of red on the sights as well which is quite cool i like that as well a little bit of detail there is nice but uh, yeah odd design kind of in keeping with the the stuff that's coming with the settlers as well to a certain extent because there's some cool new weapon unique weapons with unique uh, paints on them unique skins to them as well that are coming through that event um eviction notice so definitely worth getting stuck into eviction notice when this update arrives on the 14th our first set of curry weight boosters appearing at 67. That's three of those, which are handy to have on occasion. And the Mercenary Company Ultra Sight Power Armor Paint here at 68. So, yeah, I have mixed feelings about Ultra Sight Power Armor at the best of times, but uh, well, that's fine. It looks all right if you're into that one. 250 script at 69, and at rank 70, we have another 150 atoms. Yeah, the script itself is kind of 
less valuable. I think in a way they're probably better off ditching the script and just giving us um, legendary modules, get the right one there, instead of the script. Just because I think most people are just going to run off to the purveyor and turn it in four modules anyway. So, you know, it's just adding an extra jump in there that we don't really need. Um, at this point, there's not really a whole lot of point, with the exception of Vault Steel, if you're going for the Strangler Heart Power Armor, basically, um, or similar. There's not really a whole lot of use for script other than buying modules, because there's no point in buying legendaries off Murmur, even when there is a sale going, because the odds of getting what you want are so darn low, especially compared to the crafting system. It's just not worthwhile. So, yeah. G give me modules over script, I think, is my personal feeling on that. Let's say, rank 70 though, we do have another 150 atoms. Always happy to see plenty of atoms on the scoreboard. It's definitely nice to have. So, uh, rank 71, another 250 gold bullion. That's uh, a bit more reasonable to have. That'll actually make a dint. And at rank 72, we have some wallpaper. The rusted brick wallpaper, which, as they aptly point out here, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But um, this one's kind of interesting. With the last season, we had the sort of brick and metal responder type a uh, building set came at the end of it, and unfortunately there isn't a building set on this one. Maybe a little bit much to expect a new building set every time, but um, still. This wallpaper will blend quite well with that, as I did notice on the inside in particular on occasion. Um, I would have liked to have had the brick set available without all of the metal bits on it. So if you kind of want brick walls inside that aren't the pre-existing set of uh, brick walls, this will probably blend with that quite well, and we'll have to see it in the game to be sure, but... I think that's probably going to be a nice addition on the end of that set that we picked up last time around. So, yeah, I'm cool with that. That looks all right. I did also see somebody mention on Twitter the other day, actually, weirdly, um, that this was data mined forever and a day ago, and they were wondering when on Earth it might actually appear. Well, here we go, a couple of days later. So that was quite amusing. Well, there we go, that's rank 72, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be most welcome. So, more repair kits at 73, another player icon at 74. I like the artwork. Kind of bored and completely over the player icons though. Can we please have um, you know something a bit more workable? I'd really like to see things like boxes, barrels, and stuff like that. I'm always saying on stream that I keep seeing stuff that I want to have for my camp. Why are some of these icons and just chuck in some of the stuff that those to use to decorate locations with, like boxes, barrels, crates, all that stuff? Um, there's there's thousands of things on there that they could just go boom, have that for your camp. And I think it would be a better addition than just you know half a dozen player icons, for example. But that's just my particular opinion as a heavily biased uh, camp builder so still i do like the artwork on it i have to admit so rank 75 we have perk card packs and at rank 76 we have the mercenary company t65 power armor paint which works fairly well obviously the logo works well on the big broad chest on t65 still not my kind of look really but uh, you know for those who like their t65 you've got the uh, hellcats logo that you can rep a bit more there if you would like to more caps at 77, two and a half thousand, and a blue moulded carpet floor and foundation. So a slightly different tone to the carpet. This actually looks awfully like the one at the beginning. Uh, maybe it is a little bit more blue. But uh, yeah, if you want something else that's dirty and beaten up and might blend with a different uh, decoration style, there it is. Definitely happy with more floor variations. More legendary modules at 79, definitely happy to see that. And more atoms again at 80. Nearly there. 81. Three more lunch boxes. 82. Another two and a half thousand caps. More nuclear key cards at rank 83. And another player icon at rank 84. Put card packs at 85. And the next weapon skin, which is for the bow, at 86. And as I said yesterday, pity the bow's not a bit more use at the end game. But uh, for those who do want to rock it for um, character builds, role playing, whatever. That's definitely a raiderish vibe. Ooh, I can drag that around. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it's creepy. And it would also work for a Mothman cultist who uses a bow as well. That's quite cool in that regard. Bones all over it. A bit kind of... Yuck, though. <laughs> but uh, definitely unique. So if you're into uh, using a bow, there you go. 87. We have nine lunch boxes. We always get a big drop towards the end. And uh, there they are. And we have the high tier power armor paint starting to appear here at rank 88, which is the Blackbird Elite Jetpack. I actually quite like the look of this. It's stylish. I could see myself rocking that with a few different um, styles, actually. That will go with a couple of different power armors uh, probably quite well, so that's quite cool. If you don't have to like the alternatives. Um, yeah, I'm down for that. It looks quite cool. It's a more clean version of the currently existing Blackbird paint, which is an Atomic Shop item, so... 
if you didn't want to spend on that one, then here is another version of it that you can pick up as well. But yeah, definitely, it changes that up a little bit, and I like the way it looks. So, at rank 89, we have another 250 script, and more items at rank 90. More gold bullion at rank 91, and we're getting into the second and the probably cooler outfit here. We have Mick Golden's mask, I mean, um, the Junkyard Cultist helmet. <laughs> Definitely one to rep if you're a Slipknot fan, I think, this one. Uh, I like the look of this, it's quite cool. It's definitely junky, intimidating, I'm gonna mess you up vibe. Got an interesting kind of crown to the top of it as well. Sort of the Raider King thing gonna be rocking there. I like it, I think it's pretty cool, that mask. I could see that being used in combination with other things as well. Who knows, I might give it a go one day. Uh, but yeah, that's very cool, rank 92. The obligatory Dread Island Stein at rank 93. Not quite sure what to make of how this looks. I don't think the picture really conveys it very well. It looks almost like it's transparent with the skull on the inside, or it could be some kind of sticker kind of on the outside. Not sure. You're going to have to see that in-game. Yet another player icon at rank 94. A Heart Protects player icon. Perk coins at long last. We haven't had very many of those at rank 95 for 50 of. Legendary Cores, a whole bunch of those at rank 96, or five of them. And Legendary Modules at 97 again, which is nice, definitely the one we want. And the rest of the Junkyard Cultist outfit at 98, definitely liking the look of that. Uh, I think I like the helmet more than the rest of the outfit, but cool, obviously those go together. As I said yesterday, there's some cool detailing on this as well, so definitely a, a vibe if you're into that. The Arm Wrestle Machine comes in at rank 99, which is... Yeah, that's full of character, very vault and silly and fun. And I think for those uh, arcade-type camps, which I think we're going to have to do one of those sooner or later, that would definitely be a good fit. Be very stylish. Kind of stick out in the wrong place, though, I think. Hmm. Who knows? Either way, fun thing to add into your camp if you're into that. And, of course, at the top of the list, rank 100, we have the Blackbird Elite Power Armor Paint, which, again, check yesterday's video for a bigger picture. Well, that looks pretty cool. I do like the vibe of this, and uh, I think this is the Ultra Sight armor. It's actually on there. Not entirely sure, but it does look very, very cool. Um, changes up the style a little bit. Seems to change some of the shapes a bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, the shoulders do look different. So I'm guessing maybe it does change the shape of the armor. But either way, it looks cool. I like the little bits of detailing on it. I like the red eyes. Definitely down for that. Looking forward to getting that at rank 100. Of course, the game board is there as well. I do particularly like the art style of the game board as well. This is very, very cool. A little bit different to some of the other stuff and might look better on the walls in sort of a, a different style of camp to say some of the brighter, bolder comic book style ones. So definitely cool there. And another 500 atoms as well for your other rank 100 reward. So there we go. Bit of a mixed bag here today. There's... Um, Quite a bit of camp stuff, reasonable amount of camp stuff, which is cool. Definitely happy to have a lot of that. There's some cool skins for weapons and armor and power armor as well, which is some of the recent seasons have not had quite so much on that front. So nice to see an upswing in that. Obviously no uh, building set, but as I said earlier, expecting to get one of those every time might be pushing it. We've got a lot of building sets to choose from anyway. And to be completely honest, the camp menu, the building menu really needs an overhaul and a tidy up because... Yeah, I don't know about yours, but mine is a total mess these days. There's so much in there, and it's a nightmare to find what you're looking for. I'd love to see that overhauled. But yeah, happy to have a lot of that camp stuff anyway. There's an awful lot of player icons in this one. And whilst the artwork is cool on them, I would really like to see something a bit more interesting in there. Either a weapon skin or a more interesting uh, workbench overhaul design skin sort of model, that sort of thing. Or, as I say, even just um, clutter objects that they use in countless locations around the map, just added into those gaps, you know, boxes, barrels, crates, etc, etc. Uh, we can just drop into our camp for a bit of extra decoration and flavour. I think that would be a better addition, and not too intense in the workload, I wouldn't think, given at least they wouldn't have to design the asset from the ground upward. Um, so I think it would be a reasonable add. So rather than, you know, half a dozen different um, player icons, or more, there might be more, I'm not sure how many, but there's a lot, so... I think that's maybe my one area of complaint on this one. But yeah, all in all, there's a good load of stuff I'd like to see in here that I'm happy to get and definitely look forward to get my hands on. Uh, a few less script and a few less legendary cores and a few more modules would have been a nicer balance as well, been a slightly more useful uh, way to do it. But, you know, on the whole, I think it's pretty decent. Not the most exciting one ever, but more exciting than some have been. So, yeah. 
I'm uh, looking forward to getting stuck back into this and uh, pursuing this, and of course trying out the new events which we'll be doing as of the 14th, which should be really good fun. So, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this, what you think, what sort of things are you looking forward to on here, and uh, that sort of thing, so do let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy the video in the meanwhile, please do consider dropping subs and likes, I very, very much appreciate it. As per usual, social media links, merch store, channel memberships, all those other buttons down below the video as well. If you're interested in hitting any of those, I very, very much appreciate. Really, really helps out. It's a big help to the channel and keeps me doing what I'm doing. So massive thank you to everyone who's done that already. And if you get a chance, of course, to join live streams as well. We are playing Fallout 76. When the time comes, we'll jump into the new season. We'll check out the new events and we'll carry on with our no camp, no fast travel, etc. challenge run as well alongside that. And of course, Mass Effect 3 on the go as well, which I'm really enjoying. Got to meet Tally recently again and catch up with the Aquarians, so that's been good fun. They're um, an interesting bunch, that lot. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying making my way through that. And we've got some other really cool games lined up for the latter part of the year as well. So do join us for those. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.